Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaj Ministries. My name is Gaj. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, you are welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about before and um after marriage but mainly before so we're focusing on sexual purity in this particular video and the importance of maintaining sexual purity before marriage but before we get into the video let us pray heavenly father thank you so much for this privilege to bring your word unto your people i humble myself down before you O oh god and i ask that your holy spirit will take over holy spirit your presence let it manifest in this place let your power fill this place O oh lord even as i begin to speak O oh lord convict your people heavenly father in the name of jesus christ and let this word O oh god bring peace into their hearts heavenly father and stir up faith within them O oh lord and the grace to begin to live a sexually pure life in the name of jesus Christ I pray for your glory father amen and amen so before we get into the video I'm going to read three scriptures three scriptures okay the first one is from 2nd Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 and that says beloved ones with promises like these and because of our deep respect and worship of God we must remove everything from our lives that contaminates body and spirit and continue to complete the development of holiness within us the next scripture I'm going to read is from the books of Romans chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 and that says beloved friends what should be our proper response to God's marvelous mercies? I encourage you to surrender yourselves to God, to be his sacred living sacrifices and live in holiness, experiencing all that delights his heart, for this becomes your genuine expression of worship. And then verse 2 says, Stop imitating the ideas and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. This will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in his eyes. Praise God. The next scripture and the last one is 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 5 and that says, be ye holy as I am holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So with regards to this word about sexual purity, I received the impression on my heart by the Spirit of God to talk about this particular subject today. And what we need to understand is this. God has designed us. God has designed us to enjoy sex inside of marriage and it's not supposed to be something that we you know play with or explore outside of marriage right and god wants us to delight in him in our in our season of singleness god wants us to put our focus on him and on his word because in that is where we are, you know, able to be built up in the best way for his glory. So our, our season of being single before we enter into marriage is not for us to explore, you know, in um, sexual activities or engage in those sexually immoral things. We're supposed to worship God in the way that we live a sexually pure life that's supposed to be a form of worship unto god we're supposed to present our bodies ourselves our minds everything about us as a pure holy living sacrifice unto god that is without any form of you know blemish or spot or anything we're supposed to offer ourselves holy pure and clean unto god but if we're engaging consistently in all of these sexual immoralities like masturbation, pornography, lust, fornication, so on and so forth. We're preventing and even denying God's um, access to really use us in the best way that he can. And we're also, you know, bringing down the level and height of worship that is due unto God because we've chosen to disobey him by doing what we want or by... Um, 
giving our flesh what our flesh is desiring, sex or sexual activities. God wants us to avoid sexual activities. God wants us to keep ourselves and yield ourselves unto him as a holy sacrifice, as a holy sacrifice, as a holy sacrifice. He wants you to surrender your being, your mind, everything. Let it be surrendered unto God for his purpose, for his will. God wants to use you in a great way in your season of singleness before you go into marriage. But we must maintain sexual purity first. We must consciously, consciously keep rejecting and avoiding any sexual activity, any and every sexual activity in our um, season of singleness and accept abstinence. It is so important that we avoid sexual activities and immoralities and accept abstinence. We must engage in just the things of God and holiness and remove anything that has to do with sex away from it. We must continue to abstain from sex and sexual activities. No sleeping around while you're single. You don't have to sleep with this person and then in three months time you're sleeping with a different guy or a different girl. God is not pleased with those things. You're disobeying God because you're, because you're not offering yourself as a living sacrifice unto him. And, and that's what he wants. And that's part of the ways in which you can worship God. By offering all of you to him, not part of you. God doesn't want part of you. God wants the whole of you. And you need to begin to see yourself as you're in a marriage already because, because God is our husband. God is our husband. So you need to acknowledge and respect that fact as well. So you live in the relationship that you have with God as though, you know, that is your actual husband because he is our husband. Before he sends somebody else your way, if you're a man or you're a woman, you need to accept God as the one for you first before anything or anyone else. And if you're going to see God as your one first and you're going to reverence him and worship him and love him like your one true love, like your partner, you can't be engaging in filthy things. You can't be engaging in unholy things. You can't be engaging in sexual things by yourself, on your own, doing those things to yourself or you sharing your body with somebody else. You're betraying God. You fornicating with somebody else. You are betraying your one true love. You're hurting your one true love by sleeping around or by masturbating. You're betraying your one true love because you are married to God. You are married to Christ first before you are married to the other person that he's sending to you here. When you choose to abstain from sex before marriage, when you then get into marriage, it helps to build a stronger emotional connection between you and your spouse. That's something that a lot of us don't know. And that's what you need to know now that you choosing to be on your own and you choosing to, to completely abstain from sex can help you have a stronger emotional connection when it's now time for you to engage and connect with that person that God is sending your way in the marriage. The emotional connection will be stronger. The physical connection will be stronger. The spiritual connection will be stronger because you have chosen to offer yourself unto God before marriage here in the physical. Because you have chosen to you know, give yourself to God as a living and holy sacrifice unto God. God now is ready to perfect everything in your marriage and make it sweet and beautiful for you. Because you've respected him and obeyed him and acknowledged him and reverenced him. So it is very important that we abstain from sexual activities while we are waiting, while we are single. Because it helps us in so many ways unthinkable when we eventually get into marriage. We're guaranteed to have a healthy, wonderful sexual life with our partner. But if you choose to engage in sexual activities outside of marriage, be rest assured that, that when you go into marriage, it's going to affect the quality of your sex life. It's going to affect the quality of your sex life. 
There is no doubt about that, that when you eventually get into marriage, the quality of your sex life is going to be affected negatively. You're not going to be able to enjoy sex with your partner the way God designed you for you, for and both of you to. Because why? You've already explored so much outside, you know, before marriage. By enjoying sex outside of marriage, you are indirectly saying, God, I don't want your will for my sexual life in the marriage you want to bless me with. I want to do what I want to do and enjoy sex outside of marriage now. I don't really care about sex inside of marriage. Because God has a will for your sexual life too in your marriage. And he wants you to have a fulfilled sexual life in your marriage. He wants you to have a wonderful sexual life in your marriage. Praise God. To conclude, I just want to encourage us like I always do. Let us remain sexually pure. Men, remain sexually pure. Women, remain sexually pure. Change the way you think. Change the way you see things. Think and see from the perspective of God's word. See what God is saying concerning you and your sexual life. And adhere to those things. There are blessings, guaranteed blessings that are connected to you choosing to obey God in your season of singleness by remaining sexually pure. God blesses you in your health. He blesses you in your health and in your well-being. There are so many people that engage in so much sexual activity before marriage and they experience all sorts of illnesses and sicknesses. This is the fact. People are experiencing and struggling with so much things. There are people that are committing suicide for no reason. When, when, when they carry out this research, then you begin to understand why they say sex before marriage. Please avoid sex before marriage. Depression. Mental illness. These things are real. And God knows why he's saying, listen, be sexually pure. And wait. Wait. And go after this the way I designed it for you to be. Praise God. And that is the ultimate place in the institution of marriage where we enjoy sex in its entirety for our pleasure as God designed it to be, but ultimately for his glory. Praise God. I hope that this has been a blessing to you. Continue to work in holiness and live a clean life and be sexually pure and God will continue to strengthen you through your season of waiting and singleness and that's my prayer for you all today I'll see you all in my next video I pray for God's blessings God's protection God's mercy over every single one of you and I pray that God will continue to guide you in all that you do and as you wait on him and continuing to be sexually pure, he will bless you in ways unimaginable with the right person at the right time. And everything will fall into place beautifully for his glory in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.